this is preventing any interference from outside. All I can do is base my calculations indirectly from the noise surrounding everyone's signals. Only two knights remain. Once we defeat them, we'll have Zed cornered. What does that Zed cat even want? I have no idea, but we'll make him regret ever picking a fight with us. Between their massive construction work and Frey's and declaration of war, we're facing a threat unlike any before. We have to be ready for anything. Yeah, hell yeah! Let's go. Uh, the echo rising? I probably said that wrong. Swirling, a swirling sand surrounds the Scarlet Zeal. As the undaunted invaders approach, the palace wardens stand for... Yeah, the palace wardens. Yep, stand for Yep. All right, let's go. We're the only ones left. Hey! I'm still here. <laughs> Can't you see me? I was just kidding, BB. You're always dependable. Take a day! Me too! I'm with you! Of course, Sheeran. You're always cute. Take a day! First X. Oh my gosh. Hitting 90 second right. Divine ruin heresy. Howdy. Howdy? Yeah, howdy. I knew you'd show up eventually. Sorry, but could you let us past here? No can do. Us here at Hemsnats are Mr. Zeddy's last line of defense. Gotta share some of Sistini's load too. If you insist on standing in our way, I won't show you any mercy. I got way better at controlling this here bottom brand since y'all last saw me. You're really gonna get it this time. This ends for Mr. Zeddy. I got nothing against y'all personally, but there's just some things you can't give up on. I still have no idea what it comes is after, but any plan that treats people like objects has no future here. Even then, I'll always believe in Mr. Zeddy. He said he needed me, so I'll always be his. <laughs> Let's 
other than bringing her down. For Surge, a sure striker! Lightning, master of all creation! Raise this fortress of sand to the ground! I was really interested in what they were saying, so, yeah. I definitely had to, you know, move around and just listen to it. Everybody's so down bad, oh my gosh. <laughs> now wait just a minute. 
Did her illusions accomplish nothing at all? How did Sumeragi's forces make it this far? Ugh, I can't believe those other knights! Aw, too bad. This is what you get when you're up against GV and me. You cheeky little... While there is still no chance our plan will fail, your continued existence is indeed cause for concern. This time, I'm gonna turn you into Swiss cheese! I'll gladly give my life! Nothing personal, but we're Thanks going to stop me. your princess plans <laughs> once and for all! Know your place, little girl! You have no right to speak <laughs> in Seth's name! He has the boldness to take on whole countries for the sake of the people! And talent gets so so in power! Only he is suited to rule the world as his king! King of the world? The only world that can be ruled by a single Love person is a dystopia! <laughs> Are all island nations fools like this? The Nebulous Dictator is the ideal ruler. You can find the proof in history itself. I'm sure there are some countries where that may be true. There's no guarantee a benevolent dictator will stay with I'll finish you. Relentless libido. Nebulent. And even Zed is not immortal. Power always corrupts eventually. No way that will happen. The will be born, and the world will remain in harmony forever. How, you ask? You're delusional. Well, I will bless the world, bring dead child, and become the queen of this new era. What? This perfect, angelic face. My common desire for him cannot be contained. Okay, yeah, you're down bad too. Why? Wow. I'll never let any of the other knights have you. Renegades and Galileo are mere Ptolemy before us! Instead, I will give every fiber of my being to you! Uh, Why better this for me? It's gonna be rough. You can adore Zed as much as you want. Come on, now. That nonsensical world in your imagination stands no chance of surviving! Yeah, Over Surge and Sure Striker! Infinite blue lightning! Pierce the deep red of this crooked infatuation! Yeah! Let's go, GV! Yeah. Hitting 90 second run. Divine Ruin Heresy! Yeah, it's over. I love you. This isn't over yet. Oh, wow. The illusion. <laughs> Getting this time. Ah, okay. Oh, is that Indian? Yep. Uh, red throne room now. Increase sense of energy to stop healing animals. Okay, don't really need that.
hard to find anything. Okay, well, I can level up. Yeah, it probably sucks being left behind and you know, you know that's like there. He's also in the gamer chair. I just noticed that. But yeah, we're at the throne room now. All that's left is the inner palace. Keating, we must stop Zed. Right, let's go, GV. I can't help but feel a little jealous. <laughs> yeah, like GV and Karen. They work really well together. Zed. Faith in the true king, or belief in common man. Azure lightning and golden flame uh, class again. As child watches on, restlessly waiting to be born. They're jamming our comms. Welcome. How do you like our Sunrise Palace? Hmm. Hmm. You seem awfully calm. What do you hope to achieve after going to all this trouble? You came at the right time. We just finished bringing him over from the Futures Institute of Technology. The Futures Institute of Technology? That's where I was sealed away. Indeed. The path was open thanks to my associates removing the binding brands. You seem to be under the impression that Gunvolt is the ruler of the Primal Dragons. However, Gunvolt was not the only one who was sealed away in that facility. There was a secret room, hidden by a powerful barrier. We needed to remove the binding brands in order to break that seal. You all really should have been more suspicious of Sumeragi. You're saying that someone else is the true ruler? Precisely. He's on the top floor, right above here. It's only polite that I take you to meet him. Layla, wait here a moment. I'll be right back. Who is it? I have. What the? Is that a dragon baby? It's surrounded by glaze and seems like it's sleeping soundly. This little one is Mobius, the true ruler of the primal dragons. The true ruler? Unlike you, who awakened to your power, this one was born a primal dragon. No. Something beyond primal dragons and septimus. He has attained an octima. He is truly the child of hope for us adepts. An octima? Uh, what's going on? What is this energy? Is it dragon radiation? No, it's even stronger. Fascinating. As the original primal dragon, it appears that you are attuned to him. Damn! Uh! What if the image is surging through my mind? What? I think I destroyed everyone in the entire world. Uh, what uh, was that? GV, are you okay? The multitude of possible futures, everything was completely destroyed. Destroyed by my hand. Your primal dragon minds are resonating. It appears you received a vision. <laughs> Mobius's astral order ability allows him to see innumerable fates and choose one of his liking. In other words, he has the power to determine the future. For now, 
The glaives are keeping his power sealed away, but it allows him to manipulate probability to bend fate towards any possible future. This impacts every square inch of our world. Should this little one wish for a fate of chaos and disorder, just what would become of this world? And should he suddenly awaken as a primal dragon, dragon radiation would be released across the world, transforming countless adepts into primal dragons. In either case, the world would be on the path to total destruction. His power could never be entrusted to Sumeragi, which is why we will take control of him before he awakens. That is Atemza's goal. Recently, we were able to confirm that Layla Jin is able to influence Mobius in his sleeping state and control his astral order. Even with Mobius under our control, we won't be able to prevent primal dragons from awakening in mass. However, we will be able to guide this little one into using his astral order to create a more ideal world, even if only slightly. Your words are no different than Sumeragi's old rants! We'll never let you use Mobius to bend the world to your will! Don't you dare compare us to you lot! We merely wish to work with Mobius to guide the world along its proper path. I hear what you're saying, but in the end, your ideal world is one with you as its ruler. You can make it sound as noble and righteous as you want, but the future of the entire world should not be determined by one man's ego. Even if you make an ideal world with Mobius, it won't be a world where anyone but you gets a say in those ideals. I take it you won't be cooperating then? I honestly never expected you to truly understand our mission. You will understand once you bask in the light of our glorious future. After all, it is a king's duty to enlighten his subjects. You are welcome to try and stop me if you wish. Besides, you're the ones responsible for defending this nation, are you not? Come then, let us battle. The future hangs in the balance. Let's do this. Should Mobius awaken as he is now, adepts all over the world will transform into primal dragons. No matter what happens to you, Gunvolt, his awakening cannot be avoided. Therefore, is it not our duty to ensure that the future takes the best possible path? I know you I to trust your body. That's why we'll change it from the Over inside. Here. Such a leisurely pace. Easy, easy. The Got world this. is on the precipice of destruction. I know your past, Gunvolt. You once chose a single girl over the fate of the world, putting this country in danger. I thought you, of all people, would understand my position. Yeah, I still worry about the decisions I made back then. I still wonder if I could have found a better solution. It doesn't matter how long it takes to reach the right answer. Now, That's exactly what I'm to leave the it for. My Septima isn't Over one here. that creates solutions, Ox. but it can Go guide down. time better than any other. Whether it's an Optima or a Mighty Ruler, now, I'll show you that my better can to put them on ice for decades to come. That's quite a big claim. But even in that case, the Take world this. still rests upon the shoulders of a single person. The result is the same. I'm just the one stealing him away and buying the time we need to get a better result. Rex we need everyone working together for the future. Over here. <sighs> Said, the power of Mobius is transient. Trapping stars. you in the possible world right before your eyes. When oh, countless yes. people work together, their knowledge and efforts, setbacks and you failures, and <laughs> even the tiny things no one knows away. Together, they can accomplish anything. Even Over if here. it's a better world, the threads of history cannot be spun by a single man. Now, Look past the magic in really front of you and believe in the this. hope people create themselves. This is where we part. Legitima! Futura! I give up. You optimists are too much. I have no idea where you find such childish ideas. If you truly believe all that, show me your conviction. We'll determine here and now just whose ideals are the strongest. Illuminate the world, Golden Trillion. 
shine your light upon the non-believers. Looks like we have no choice. Kidding? We must stop the way. Zed, I'll never Over accept here. that suffocating world of yours. We'll seal it away My forever with our radiant feathers. the skies. How this? This is yours. <laughs> now, time to leave the nest. Easy to slow. Burn to ash. Let's go. GB. Hidden 90 second front. Divine Ruin Heresy! Uh, no! I had a feeling that was going to happen. You drop this over here! Take place! Here I come! Look alive! <laughs> Wings of death! Fudge your slow! My little ones! Light the skies! Going in! I'll get the hell this! Dang it. I'm going to use the skill. Your feathers. Is this really it? Zed, your ideals are too extreme. Since you've only seen our country from the outside, you all may not realize this, but Sumeragi is more than just its bad parts. They've supported this country for hundreds of years. When something goes wrong, if we work together, talk it out, and really think it through, we can find a solution. Sometimes they make mistakes, and there have been plenty of failures, but we have always been able to get through them in the end. With enough time, I'm sure we can even do something about Mobius. Well, it was pretty bad that they kept Mobius a secret, even from Shadow Yakumo. True, but part of that was a failure on our side to properly supervise them. I'm gonna rip the top brass a new one when I get back. For now, I have to do something about Mobius. We can talk it out with you guys later, okay? It's never too late to talk, even after a fight. <gasps> Not again! Huh? This is even more power than when GV awakened! Oh crap! The Glaives can't handle this much! What's happening? No, it can't be. Our battle. The power of our Septimus clashing was enough to awaken Mobius. Was that the trigger? Oh, oh boy, here he goes. Yeah, one. Uh, this might be it. But one last check over everything. <laughs>